Championship. I think Joe Hag. Yeah. Joe, Joe Hag. Yeah, yeah, he's a North Coast State guy too. He has five. I only got four. But you got four rings. Yeah, I got I got four. So Joe Hag would be the guy to talk to. Okay, yeah, yeah. So he got one more than me. So you have motivation, but then again, you're both on the same team. So oh, yeah. This year, you still have to catch up. Don't you? <laughs> Definitely. What, what was it like during that time when you guys were pretty much dominating the college? Oh, it, it was a very good experience, uh, learning what it takes to, to be a championship, mm -hmm. uh, just, just coming together as a team. Um, it was really a lot of focus on the, the little details, which is huge uh, at, at all levels. Uh, even at the NFL, a lot of the, the little things get overlooked, and that's where teams that can pay attention and focus on those things, they have success. You seem to have uh, kind of grown into this role, getting more and more opportunities. How are you now versus when you first entered the NFL? What have you improved upon? Oh man, I, I know our defense so much better this year than last year, and, and I was right towards the end. I was really uh, understanding the defense, so uh, just my knowledge of the game has gone up so much. Uh, not only on defense, but uh, just, just knowing the offenses and stuff like that, as well as special teams and, and learning the schemes and stuff. Uh, my overall uh, game knowledge has gone up. So I, I, I see myself as a student of the game, always learning something. So. You learn a lot from the guys like TJ, like I spent. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, having TJ in the room, I mean, I, I take it, I take that and uh, ask him every question I can get. I'm sure he gets annoyed at times, but uh, he's a huge resource for me. Uh, I mean, you'd be crazy not to ask him questions and, and learn from a guy like that. Is he pretty good about responding or, you know, taking you under his wing, so to speak? Yeah, definitely. He, he has answered all my questions so far. Uh, he hasn't told me to, to leave him alone yet, so. <laughs> We're, yeah. running, we're on a, a good page yet, so. All right, back to the rings, one final thing. Uh, which is the biggest one of the four? Is it the last one just because the years go by and gets bigger? Or does anyone have more special things than you? You know, not really. I, I I got it and put it in a safe, and I haven't even looked at them. So um, I, I'm worried about the ring that we're, we're going after this year, and, and I'll look back at that when my playing days are over. But for right now, I'm, I'm focused on the uh, world championship this year. Thanks, Eric. Yeah. Yeah. How do you view this opportunity this year? What do you see your role? At this yeah, it's, it's a huge opportunity. I, I feel like my role's uh, going to be more than it was last year. Uh, giving TJ and Alex uh, some reps just to, to catch a breath in, in the middle of series. Uh, and then special teams is going to be huge for me. They haven't brought other guys in for the most part. What kind of confidence does that instill? And what are they telling you about the way you play? Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's always nice uh, knowing that they have a little confidence in me where they don't need to bring in a, a vet. But, uh, I mean, we're always competing. Everybody's getting each other better, and, and it is great. Few more like last year, jumped on a moving train in, 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 uh, in September there, set the whole offseason in the system and with the team and around everybody. So, but different than it was last year, we invested in a new team and everything too. Yeah, it, it definitely is. It helps uh, having all the, the offseason OTAs and stuff, learning everything, doing all the proper installs. So like you said, I hopped in on a moving train and I had to learn on the fly. So it was a lot of before meetings and after meetings, meeting with uh, Coach Denzel and, and some of those guys asking questions and stuff. So now finally uh, getting all the proper install, diving deeper into everything, it, it, it helped tremendously. How do you see it kind of shape? It seems like there's like a hot spot with the end of what and, and High Smith and you and, and, um, and Scott and, and uh, your new guys couple and stuff. How's that kind of get the division labor going to stake out? You know, I'm not too sure. That's, that's for them to decide. Uh, we're, we're all just taking care of business, putting in work, uh, just making each other better every day. So. However the chips fall, uh, so be it. But right now we're just getting each other better and, and competing every day, which has been fun. After almost what, four weeks up here, what's it what's feeling like to be done with, with camp? Uh, at least it's up bittersweet. Here. It's bittersweet. I'm not going to lie. I like to I like to have a camp up here. No distractions. Everything I need are, is right here. So uh, it'll, be, it'll be different going back to the south side since it's been so, it's been so long since we've been there. But, uh, it, it was a great camp, it was a lot of fun just being able to be around the guys in the dorms again and, and all that stuff, just the team camaraderie and the bonding and stuff we had was, was great just building uh, 